From Studio 3 at Buzz TV, it's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, welcome into another edition of The Horse's Mouth here on Buzz TV, brought to you by my good friends at truckcrashlaw.com. Of course, we're at my bar at Tommy Max. We're talking law. We're talking marine construction. We're just talking business right here in Jacksonville. Let's welcome in the panel our old friend Daniel Bean is back. ABL Law, how Thank are you, you, sir? I'm great, Tom. Thank great you. to see you again. Yes, Last time I saw you, we were doing the show from, uh, from the, the USS Orlick. How's everything on the Orlick? It's good. It's floating. It's yeah, good. That's, a good, that's a good thing, <laughs> no good doubt, thing. although it would make a nice underwater museum to that's it, true. if yeah. need be, right? Yeah, the divers would love it. you got a big event coming up soon, we right? We do on Benefiting Saturday, our Marines. Uh, commemoration of Vietnam anniversary, and right. so we've got hundreds of people going to be on the ship, and we're really looking forward to it. That is great, man. I'm looking forward to getting back out there mm -hmm. as well. Fred, how are you, my friend? I'm great, thank Welcome you. Welcome to the show. Great to have you. Nice to be here. You're a lawyer as well. I am. What's yeah. the name of your law firm again? The Deal Point Law Firm. The Deal Point Law Firm. You're in uh, business contract, contract right. law, contract. basically, yes. right? Uh, pretty much business contract. Okay. So that could go from an employee negotiating with his company all the way to a business owner. Okay. What's your favorite, uh, you know, contract to work or least favorite? Let's start with that. The uh, ones that take too long? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the ones I don't do. I don't do bonds, for example. That would be a nightmare. Okay. But, uh, I like, uh, I like business transactions, business okay. relationships. Yeah, great. Well, great to have you Thank you on the show. Mark, right? Yes. How are you, my friend? Good. Great to have you Thanks, on the Tom. show. You're in Marine Construction with Manson. Yes, Manson Construction. How long have you been doing that for? Uh, uh, myself, about 13 years. Okay. Yeah. All here in Jacksonville since I uh, joined Manson Construction. Now you're talking, you're not talking just bulkheads for behind people's houses. You're talking port, big cranes, That's right. big, big business. Yeah, we do dredging and construction. Army Corps of Engineers, Navy Facilities Engineering Command, wow. Jacksonville Port Authority, okay. a lot of private terminals. Do Are we done dredging? Because we were dredging quite a bit, weren't we, to get even the bigger ships in? Oh, yeah. 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 Is that a quite constant a bit, thing? Or what's, what, well, maintenance that? dredging is constant. Okay. That's a, in Manson Construction has a lot of maintenance stuff. We work okay. for Jacksonville Port Authority at all the terminals, you know, take it, digging up all the sediment that comes in up down from St. John's yeah. River every yeah. year. So. That must keep you busy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You enjoy it? Very much so. Cool. Yeah. Great. Great to have you on the show. Thank Paul you. Threed is here, right, Paul? Nice you, Another Thank attorney. You. Man, I love all the attorneys. If I get in trouble, I'm good. I'm a Navy attorney. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Navy attorney. Thank you for your service and Thank you. same for you, you. as well. Uh, what do you uh, specialize in? What kind of law? Now I'm doing elder law and helping families protect what they love, whether that's their house with the real estate disputes or okay. elder law planning, crisis planning documents for elder f families and getting okay. people the help they need to take care of the elderly family. Just members. to go to the next step, whether that's going into independent living, assisted help. Right. A lot of people, you know, they get an estate plan. Well, the estate plan is what happens when you pass. And what a lot of families right. do is they forget that the years before you pass, you're going to be clinging yep. to life with white knuckles trying to get through medical issues and stuff yep. like that. And you need a plan to prepare for that. You need somebody to help you with your finances, maybe help sure. you with your health care decisions. Yep. And if you get stuck, you know, on, on a, a ventilator or something, yep. those kind of end of life decisions also, you yep. need to have a plan for those. And that's what help famous prepare You know, for. my mother's nine, 91 years old, right? And mm -hmm. she's, she's doing uh, fantastic. Um, but, you know, look, as you move on, you know, right. just and she's even she's got one eye. She lost an eye to glaucoma. What's next? If you know, you got to have those mm -hmm. plans in place. She does have Tricare, which takes care of everything. That's I mean, great. It's inc my dad set her up before he died. The right. military guy himself, but I will tell you, man, it's very important to make sure our elderly are, are taken care of. And sometimes when elderly people like they lose an eye or something, they lose death perception, and they need someone to come to the home and help them. Oh, yeah. One of the things that VA offers is the aid and attendance. Yep. And one of the things I love to do is help veterans get the benefits that they fought and earned for. Yeah. She's yeah. a veteran too. Maybe I'll hook her. Hook Absolutely. Yeah, if she needs something, let me know. We'll help yeah. her out. I mean, she just definitely yeah. deserves to have the help in the home and not, yeah. you know, I mean, that's she's at risk, and, and we should be there yeah. to help her. We need to take care of. People. Yeah, I mean, she she gets a lot of help. We help her out a lot. But that's it, I'd love to uh, connect you, no doubt about it. All right, uh, question for the panel, right? We're, we're both uh, elder statesmen here on this show for this <laughs> segment. What, uh, you look back on your life, your career even, you know, what, look back 10, 20 years. Dan, I'm going to start with you. What would you, you know, what, what, what did you learn the most? You know, what would you tell yourself back then 20 years ago that maybe you know today? Stay uh, as balanced and as disciplined as you can and um, don't get too high, don't get too low. Um, things tend to work themselves out and um, 
it would make my uh, heart a little bit uh, less worn today than it is because yeah. of if I had done what I you know preached today, yeah. it would have been a lot easier for me that way. Stress is a killer. Stress is I a killer. I mean, literally, but even figuratively, man, it can wear you out. There's yeah. no doubt about it. Great, yeah. great mm -hmm. bit, bit of advice. Fred, how about you? What would uh, you say? Be aware of opportunities and seize them when they come up. Um, Always be ready. Be ready if you can. Yep. Sometimes mm -hmm. you're not ready. No, you're not. But you know what? You got to have your game face on. You never know who you're going to meet, right? You could be having the worst day. Someone comes up, you got to put it all aside, like, hey, how's it going, right? That's right, yeah. So, yeah. earliest time I can remember was a uh, Pop Warner football player. They decided I might be a good running back and handed me a stack of plays this big, and I put them aside when I got home, came back the next day, and started calling the plays, and yeah. I had no idea. That's of course, great. I was 13 or 12. Yeah, uh, right, right, right. Yeah, well, it's so great to have my, you. The end of my running back career, right? Now. That's right. You just got to run them over and run around them. I mean, you know. That's what I thought it and was. And pick up the blitz on occasion. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Mark, how about you, man? You've had a great career in the uh, the marine construction business. What what would you say to yourself? Um, when I transitioned from military, which I did 11 years in the Navy, to construction, heavy construction, it seemed like I went automatically into the office, estimating, scheduling, project management stuff, yeah. but just getting the field. Spend more time in the field. That's where it counts. I mean, okay. safety on our jobs is, is ultimate. And if you don't aren't familiar with the work, it's pretty tough to help the guys out there. You really want to be a part of that. You want to spend time more, more time in the field. I've been telling myself that, yeah. you know, for 20, 30 years, mm -hmm. but yep. uh, I can't do it enough. Nothing like so, that experience, right? That yeah. you can't learn in a classroom or in that's a right. book or anything like that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Paul. How about you, man? You get the last last one. What do you think? What would you tell yourself? Your business is people. Yep. Whether that's the people that work on your team and and how you manage them and how you motivate them and how you engage them and get them to take possession of the issues and the problems you're trying to solve. Or if it's the client or customer that's coming in and how you relate to them and you listen to them like a true friend. So you really cannot overemphasize people skills. You really need to develop people skills. Even if you're an engineer and you're going out to the field, you got to be able to talk to guys, right? right? And so that's a skill there. And you know, working with your team, whatever it takes, you, you people, you've got to learn that yep. the people are your business people, are your tribe is, is what makes life. And yep. that's what I think I would go back. I, I did that really well, I think, as a military person because they, they taught you that. And right. then when I transitioned out and I got into civilian sector, I got into this, how much am I charging for my product? What's the margin? So forth and so on. Yep. And then later I really realized that my business is really how well am I rewarding my people and growing my business with more quality people. Yeah. That's the margin of the product is a lot of times dictated by the market. Right. But what you can do with your people and grow your business is about yeah. the people. Listen. I gotta listen, right? Right. You gotta learn how, you gotta be able to talk. You also gotta learn to listen and hear what your like a client true or your customer. You yeah, carry. like really care. I tell you for me it's it's tomorrow's a new day and you'll always have hopefully you'll have another day. Uh, say your prayers and work on yourself and good things will happen. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Awesome. That was a good one. All right. If you like these kind of conversations, you can find plenty more at IWantABuzz.com. So until next time, stay safe and be cool out there. And we'll see you right here on the horse's mouth. Cheers. Cheers.